this video I'm going to show you how to make this soldering iron with the barbecue lighter and piece of the wire. So before we do that you need to make sure that you have a, it says wind resistant lighter. That's the lighter that has actually flame, you got actually strong flame. It's not, it's not a flame, it's actually like a, a burner. So make sure that you have a wind resistant lighter. You can buy that in uh, any store. But like I said, uh, the one with the flame is not going to work. Need to be wind resistant. That one has actually, as you can see, it's uh, actually burner. It's not a flame. So before we do anything, we need to actually open it. Because we need to do some change. We need to actually increase the gas flow in this one because it's set a factory to low flow. So what we need to do, take the screw out, take this piece up, and now we need to open it slowly so we don't break anything. Okay, so that's this what we need to do. See this black lever, we need to lift it up actually. Lift it up. And flip it, twist it like for maybe two full circles. So lift it, put it back and twist it two three circles so we're gonna have a lot of flame. Here we go. And now we need to put everything back together. Okay, the next step now is we're gonna have a 12 gauge ground wire and, and, and actually electrical copper wire. So what you need to do, maybe around eight, nine inches, you need to make it a nice loop like this with your fingers, which actually gonna fit here, like this. Get the pliers and maybe make it you know, a little bit nicer. Maybe tie it up a little bit like this and make it so it stays maybe like half an inch from the from the peak of the ladder. Then we need to have some rope so I can attach this copper. It stays tight around the around the ladder. So need to tie it up very well. Tighter better. Here we go like this and now we're gonna actually tie it up. And now we can cut it out actually this extra axis of the rope. So once when this is done what do we need to do? Make it a pliers and make it a little bit maybe another better shape like this. Get another pliers and cut actually extra extra of this like this. Here we go. So now it's actually ready. So make sure that it's always in the middle, in the middle of the flame. That's very important so the flame doesn't escape. The flame needs to actually heat it up straight in the copper. Okay, so let's try how it works. It's the same procedure like with the real uh, so, uh, soldering iron. You need to apply the flux first on the wire, of course. Another piece too. And of course we need to heat up this a little bit. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so you can, as you can see, on both parts we have a flux wire. So let's try to put them together. It looks like it's... I might need a better holder for this. Here we go. Here we go. Works same as a real soldering iron. No problem. See? Let's take it down. Here we go. Alright, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.